your name. I don't want to know anything about you. Listen, Doc. Quiet. Doc. Don't Doc. tell me Doc. anything. Doc. Quiet. Quiet. I'm going to read your thoughts. Let's see now. You come here from a great distance? Yeah, exactly. Oh, don't tell me. Uh, you want me to buy a subscription to the Saturday Evening Post? No. Not a word. Not a word. Not a word now. Quiet. Uh, donations. You want me to make a donation to the Coast Guard Youth Auxiliary? Doc. I'm from the future. I came here in a time machine that you invented. Now, I need your help to get back to the year 1985. Do you know what this means? It means that this damn thing doesn't work at all. Doc, you gotta help me. You were the only one who knows how your time machine works. Time machine? I haven't invented any time machine. Okay, all right, I'll prove it to you. Look at my driver's license. It expires 1987. Look at my birthday, for crying out loud. I haven't even been born yet. And look at this picture. My brother, my sister, and me. Look at her sweatshirt, Doc. Class of 1984. Pretty mediocre photographic fakery. They cut off your brother's hair. I'm telling the truth, Doc. You gotta believe me. Then tell me, future boy, <laughs> who's president of the United States in 1985? Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan? The actor? <laughs> then who's vice president? Jerry Lewis. I suppose Jane Wyman is a first lady. Whoa, wait, Doc. And Jack Benny is secretary of the treasury. Oh. Doc, you gotta listen to me. I got enough practical jokes for one evening. Good night, future boy. No, wait, Doc. Doc, the, the, the bruise, the bruise in your head. I know how that happened. You told me the whole story. You were standing on your toilet and you were hanging a clock and you fell and you hit your head on the sink. And that's when he came up with the idea for the flux capacitor, which is what makes time travel possible.